Hey, what is up? Welcome back to another video. So, I'm actually bringing you guys something really special. I've been fooling around on Fallout, and as you can see here, I've discovered some things which probably shouldn't be in the game. But, I'll explain them, get a, um, you know, show you guys how I did it, and we're gonna go one-shot Deathclaws right now. So, let's go try this out real quick. What are you, buddy? I'm in my power armor so I get a bonus. That Deathclaws are already half health, I don't know why. Maybe there's something bigger that I can kill. But, oh, you hit me first. Obviously, if he hits me first, there we go. <laughs> there you go, bud. Thanks for the, thanks for all that. That can go, Let's see, Brad Scorpion Hunter, Brad Scorpion. Come here, bud. They have to stop getting the first hit. Because then it just staggers me. That guy somehow took a one shot. I mean, didn't get the one shot. But it is doing a lot more damage. I'm going to upgrade it later and see if I can get it over 1k. It's pretty broken, honestly. See that legendary? One shot. One shot. What did you have? Plasma infused homemade rifle. Before, I got it up a lot higher, so I was able to... One shot everything, no problem. But you might, you know, it might take two hits to kill this thing. Maybe not. So they get the hit off first, and it's a little annoying. But you can see I'm I'm one shotting all of them. No problem. Rat scorpions are one of the harder things in the game. They don't have a ton of defense compared to like a death claw, but or a behemoth. Behemoth, I probably with this I probably could not one shot, but with I'd probably be able to two or three shot, and if I boosted it a little more, I'd be able to one shot a behemoth. I'm so scared. Look at how vicious that thing looks. <laughs> I paralyzed it! <laughs> Woo! But um, but um. Yeah, come out, boy. If you guys are wondering how do I get started in being able to be this overpowered, let me just show you real quick. A good location to start off in is the Coastal Cottage. Now we're going to head over here real quick. Okay. So over here, you can see it's right to the left. Right when you, from here, from the coast, it's just to the left. You can see some of these bears. So these are the things that are gonna be the most important for doing this. So you're gonna take the meat, you can take the hide as well. Then, ooh, Death Claw's alive. Let's just take care of that real quick. Okay. <laughs> um, we're gonna get some more of this meat. I believe there's a fourth somewhere. Here we go. So, we got the meat. Now we can just head over to any location that you can have a camp or you have a campfire and know where a campfire is because that's going to be the next step. I'm going to head over to my shop area because I'm going to show you guys something as well. This is where I have all my shops at where you can buy and sell stuff. And here's the cooking station. Now, you got to be careful you don't craft the wrong thing. But, you know, I mean, you can craft some death claw meat if you want to sell it. And when you get all the way down to here, you're going to have this. It's, a, you know, some meat. And you need, you know, carrots and tatos. Which, tatos aren't hard to get. I actually need two more real quick. So let's grab a bunch of tatos. And bring the tatos back to the campfire. Because we're about to cook up some things which are going to help us. And these are the most, most important things in doing this, so. I advise you do it. There's one good to do it. Don't craft this. I mean, you could, if you have enough meat. But, just go for this stuff. Should last you a while, but still. Grab, we'll just cook some steak and then some of those as well. That would be helpful. Now, the reason I'm over here is because if you get a high enough bar... Or this is really supposed to be a restaurant, right? 
Okay, so you can go through this, and right now I don't have it, but sometimes you can come across them selling this meat, so you don't even need to go find it. It's not that hard to find. If you want to find other locations, then I'll leave a link in the description where you guys can go look for locations to find these bears, but the location I gave you, or gave you, they should respawn once in a while, so honestly, if you just keep going there, you're, you would be alright. All you have to do, is for some reason, when you use this t plus 10 melee damage in the suit, I don't know if it's only a suit thing, I think you have to get out and go back in, right? So I'll pull the sledgehammer out, and then we'll go... I have to like swing it around. Bang, bang. Now you have 84, and then when I add the psycho to it. Oh great, it became addicted. Do I have to equip it? Oh yeah, you got 605 now. There we go. For some reason. Okay. And the thing is, even when psycho runs out, you still have the boost. I'm not sure if it's just the plus 10. Um... But it doesn't seem to work unless I put a Psycho. I need to get rid of my Addiction real quick. I'm going to test it a little more. I know some locations where Death Closers you spawn. Worn off, just because I fast traveled. And as you can see here, even though it wore off, we still have the effects of the plus 10 from the meat. These guys, uh, I think they respawned. I didn't even realize it. There we go. Alpha Death Claw. Let's go take that thing down. See, Alpha Death Claw is going to take two with this because it's not fully maxed. If I got a critical hit, though, I would have one shot him. Stop blocking it, bro. Ah, here we go. This is a good test. The Death Claws can still damage you a lot because they do that stupid pickup attack. We got it mutated. And then also I have my other <laughs> my other dude just chilling with me. That's horrible. And we got a regular slush hammer. Right? And the regular one is doing 273. Okay? That's still a big boost, but. Obviously, the one I have is better than the normal one, 40 to 540. It's definitely better. But watch what we can do with this thing. And this is why you can get this to a lot. Okay? You're going to keep going up. Ready? Puncturing. It's already at 404. Heavy, 476. 547. 678. 749. And then you can get it to 749 with 25. Which is more than I have. And then you're doing bleed damage as well. And you can multiply it. Let's turn on Psycho real quick. I know it's wasting Psycho. Let's just put it on. And Psycho's not the only thing that gives you damage bonus. I just don't have um, other things right now with me. That's the best weapon you can get for this. Right? But it's not even close to the most damage you can do for this. And I'll show you guys why. Do 20% more melee damage. Now... I can level that up five times if I want it, which doubles the amount of damage I'm doing currently. Okay? Okay, there you go. If you're rooted, you get more damage resistance, and your melee does even more. So if you stack this on top of each other, you, you can do a lot of damage. And I'm talking about insane amount of damage. Power fists don't work with this. Rippers work. Okay. Well then. <laughs> yeah, so... Do you want to pimp out your Ripper? You can use this as well, and it's probably going to do a ton of damage. We're going to take one of these things out and go test it real quick. Let's see if I can buff it a little bit. I guess our first target is none other than a Mole Rat. Okay, 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 
They're gonna come on me. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Stop throwing nades. So I can just hold this and wait for that guy to pop up. So obviously it's not have doesn't have that one shot potential, but if you can get up close to them, you can literally just hold it on them. Just look at them and hold it, and it will it will it will kill them in like two seconds. Where you at, bruh? There we go. They can pop up right here. It's one down. This thing has a little more health. I guess when they hit you with this thing, it's a little annoying. But that's the that's the only thing because it stops you. <laughs> so anyway, that's about it involving that. Um, you can use knives, swords, baseball bats. You can't use any punching weapons, sadly. But if you look and you were thinking, okay, well you didn't one shot every single thing. Yeah, I did not, and there's a reason for that. It's because I didn't put any strength perks, and I didn't have a great melee weapon. Now, at the beginning game, you could do this level 5 and have a knife, and you might not necessarily be able to one-shot every single creature in the game, but you'll be able to kill, you know, the majority. Even Behemoths with a knife, you could probably do that. So, you know, that's, that's the reason why when you get further in the game, you'll definitely be able to one-shot everything. No joke, like every single thing in the game. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed, please sub because I will be doing a lot of this content for both Fallout 4 and 76. Um, like if you, you know, like the video and comment down below any suggestions, you know, positive comments you have, negative comments, I'll accept them all. So yeah, anyway guys, um, thanks for watching, I'll see you later.